Before the communist revolution, Kiev had hundreds of synagogues and dozens of mikvahs, but very few survived. Some grand synagogues remained to serve as tourist attractions. But since mikvahs weren't needed for this purpose, Stalin closed them all down. In Kiev, however, my father wouldn't stand by while the communist allowed these mikvahs, the most integral foundation of Jewish marriage, to disappear. Since our apartment was in the basement, we dug a hole under the table big enough for a kosher mikvah. We lined it with waterproof cement and crafted a lid for it, and then it was ready to be filled. How to fill it in accordance with a Jewish law might have proved a problem in other parts of the world, but not in Russia, where for most of the year snow lies on the ground. All we had to do was fill sacks with snow and dump them in, and once it had melted, we had a perfectly kosher mikvah. Of course, it was still ice cold, but we found a way to lower a samovar loaded with glowing coals down into the pool. At any rate, it took the chill off. Sometimes a woman would travel hundreds of miles by train just to use our mikvah. And that would have been the day that the samovar was out of order. You wouldn't think that anyone would be eager to stand in ice cold water over her head in the middle of the Russian winter, but these women did. Mama used to say of them, when a woman immerses herself in ice, she sanctifies her marriage with the burning passion of love. The mikvah's lid was heavy and had to be pulled up with an iron ring. Mama always gave the honor of opening it to a woman who had come to use the mikvah. As she bent down to grab the ring, Mama would deliver this little speech from the bottom of her heart. Jewish daughter, this iron ring is a link of the golden chain that binds you and me to our holy mothers, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, and Leah, and all the pious women in every generation. Remember, a chain is only as strong as each of the links. If, God forbid, one link should snap, then the whole chain is ruined from start to finish. So grasp it tightly, this link of yours, and be proud that you are upholding the golden chain of holiness that stands 4,000 years unbroken. <laughs>